Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Makar Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim scattered four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say shalom to the Akim out there. This is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, Luke 21 and 11. And it reads. It says, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, like famines, and pestilence, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. Right, so we're definitely seeing the increasing, a large amount of uh, unprecedented, unprecedented of uh, increasing of these uh, earthquakes in diverse places. And as we continue to see that now, some more than ever, we're going to continue to see that increase. And we're gonna see the uh, the pestilence, the plagues, the famines on top of that as well too, as we continue to see that increase, and we're seeing that right now as we speak around the world, you know. But we're definitely for sure gonna see the you know these earthquakes in diverse places at an alarming. Oh yeah, I get it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right, so like I mentioned again, we're definitely going to continue to see the uh, earthquakes in diverse places as we see it at an alarming rate like never before. And we're going to see the uh, famines, modern day famines, just like in ancient times, seeing the, uh, our great forefathers, seeing the uh, famines, pestilence, and plagues. As they was prophesying about it, you know, Israel didn't take heed to it, so they got hit with that famine, right along with the other nations got hit with the famine, just like in ancient times. It's going to happen once again in modern day times at an alarming rate. And then the pestilence, because you got two different type of pestilence, you know, the weather conditions, the tornadoes, the earthquakes, the floodings, landslides, mudslides, etc. And then the second part of the pestilence, the, the pestilence, the plagues, diseases. You know, with this EG, EG5 plague is uh, starting to increase. And these other different type of pestilence and plagues that we never heard of before. We want to see that increase in the nine days as well, too. And the uh, pestilence and the plagues of old in ancient times, in recent times. Now we're going to see that make a combat as well, too. And we're going to see the uh, fearful sightings and great signs shall that be from heaven. You know, we're definitely going to see these uh, fearful sightings. Uh, we're going to see these signs in the sky, the signs on the whole planet Earth. You know, like the scripture says, great signs shall that be from heaven. You know, we're going to see the uh, chariot sighting because those are the chariots of the heavenly Father. And we're going to see some type of sights we've never witnessed and experienced before. And that's what we've been seeing so far. We're definitely going to continue to see that increase now so more than ever. So hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was edifying of the book of Luke chapter 12, I mean in the book of Luke chapter 21 verse 11, and that was the title of the sit down lesson. Once again, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, Mokar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely, and Shalom to the uh, Akim. Scattered through four corners of the globe, pushing more truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say, Shalom.